In this lesson, we are going to learn an introduction to phonetics. Dear learners, you please keep a notebook and a pen with you. Sit as you sit in the class in front of a teacher. Post the video in between and take down the notes. I am Iqbal KK. Here we go. Watch the video. Welcome back. Today, we are going to discuss an introduction to phonetics. This phonetics part is included in Language and Linguistics, the fifth semester core paper in BA English Language and Literature. Module 3, Phonetics in English. We can have a look into the language. Language is a system of communication. Scientific study of language is known as linguistics. Communication can be in two ways, spoken form and written form. In any language of the world, spoken form originated at the first. Later, the written forms developed. Communication is the act of expressing ideas and feelings and transferring data to others. It's a complex activity involving more than one person. Friends should not be mistaken for effective communication. Communication becomes successful only when the meaning is properly transmitted from the sender to the receiver. The human system of communication is far more complex and advanced. What is RP? If we explain RP, RP is otherwise known as standard English. English is used in all countries of the world either as the first language or as the second language. When a language is spoken in a wide area by a large number of people, variations are bound to occur. The variations means that different types of spoken forms. English being the most widely used language by the largest number of people, it has numberless varieties of spoken forms. In England itself, there are several varieties. The native speakers of English in London used a special variety of English pronunciation. This pronunciation has become more prestigious over the other ones. It's called received pronunciation or standard English. The RP is the medium in English public schools. The RP is the variety used in the famous universities of the Oxford and the Cambridge. The BBC broadcasts are made in this variety. It is RP that has been scientifically analyzed and phonetic theories formulated. Moreover, the educated native speakers and standard writers in and around London speak this variety of English. The RP is the language of ruling class. In fact, it was previously called King's or Queen's English. Thus, Harpy has risen to the position of standard speech. When we look into, in a global scenario, the global family of English today has two main branches, the British and American English. Linguists call these hybrid languages as Englishes. Differences among the Englishes are in terms of pronunciation, spelling and meaning. Generally, there is a tendency to branch a particular variety or dialect of a language as the standard one. In Britain, this status is given to RP, receive pronunciation, and in America, the standard variety is standard American English. Then we can go to the definitions, some definitions in phonetics. What is phonetics? IPA, phonetic alphabets, phonemes, speech sounds, English sound system, vowels and consonants. What is IPA? IPA is the explanation of International Phonetic Alphabets approved by International Phonetic Association. The 44 phonetic alphabets or speech sounds or phonemes in English are part of IPA. International Phonetic Association is an organization. They have devised phonetic alphabets in English. They make studies and research. Then what is phonetics? If we define phonetics, phonetics is the branch of linguistics which deals with phonemes, speech sounds, with special reference to the articulation, transmission, and reception. This we will learn later videos. What is articulation? Articulation is the production of speech sounds. Transmission is transmitting the sound, the produced sound into the uh, airwaves. And reception is the how the hearer receive these words. What is a phoneme? A phoneme is the smallest sound unit of a language. Phoneme has no meaning and cannot be divided. Examples E, P, B, K, everything. These are phonemes. These phonemes cannot be divided again and 
it make it makes no sounds as well all 44 phonemes in english are example for uh, phonemes phonology what is phonology is the branch of phonetics which deals with study of selection and organization of phonemes in a particular language the study of contrastive relationship among the fun fundamentals of speech sounds the study of speech sounds in english that's known as english phonology what is phonotactics it is the branch of phonetics which deals the distribution of phonemes in words the rules about the distribution of phonemes in words are called phonotactic rules for example p occurs in all position in english words that means p comes in initial p comes in middle p comes in end as well that is a, that is a formula or that is a rule formulated in these phonotactic rules then there are two types of uh, uh, mechanism or types of mechanism in sound production. They are one is speech mechanism, the other is air string mechanism. We will define what is it. What is speech mechanism? A concept or an idea is formed in the brain of the speaker. This concept is communicated to the organs of speech that is mouth, tongue, lips, etc. through the nerve system. This the speech organs immediately make necessary movements and speech sounds are produced. The speech sounds are transmitted into the air. The transmitted speech sounds are converted into sound waves. These sound waves reach in the ears of hearer. They are carried to the brain. There they are interpreted and hearer understand the message. This is the speech mechanism. Then what is airstream mechanism? Airstream mechanism is most important with the production of the sound or speech sounds in any language. The lung air is the raw material for speech production. There are three kinds of airstream mechanism. They are one is velaric airstream mechanism, the second is glottalic airstream mechanism and the third is pulmonic airstream mechanism. We are going in detail. What is velaric airstream mechanism? This is produced by the modification of air at the velum. We will discuss what is velum in the later videos. The movement of mouth air by action of the tongue. There is a velar closure formed by raising the back of the tongue when using the velaric airstream mechanism. The movement of lung air by the respiratory muscles. Most sounds are produced with pulmonic airstream mechanism, not in velaric airstream mechanism. The second is glottalic airstream mechanism. This is produced by the modification of air and the glottis. What is glottis? The gap between the vocal cords or soft palate. What is pulmonic airstream mechanism? This is most important connected with the production of speech sounds. This is related to lungs. This is the air that we breathe into the lungs and breathe out of the lungs. Pulmonic airstream mechanism is divided into two. There are one is pulmonic ingressive airstream mechanism. The second is pulmonic aggressive airstream mechanism. Pulmonic aggressive airstream mechanism is most importantly connected with the production of speech sounds. How they are? Pulmonic ingressive airstream mechanism. This is the air that we breathe in to the lungs through the nose. Pulmonic aggressive airstream mechanism is this is the air that we breathe out. This aggressive air is the raw material for speech production. All speech sounds in English are made in this pulmonic aggressive airstream mechanism. So this is most important for the production of speech sounds. Then we will move on to next live session on the what are the vowels or speech sounds in English or sound system in English. Thank you for watching. You please take down the notes as well.